Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Our today's video talks about class 4 social studies chapter maps. Before getting into our video, if you are watching our channel for the first time, please press the bell button and subscribe to get our daily video notifications. The contents of today's topic are maps, globe, maps versus globes, different type of maps, how to study a map and followed by key points. What are maps? A map is a drawing of the earth usually on a flat surface. The word map comes from the word mappa meaning is napkin in Latin. You can carry maps from one place to another. You can look at them whenever you are traveling. These days you can get maps in the form of charts, books and even in the form of napkins. Now let's understand about globe. A globe is a small round model of the earth. You can turn the globe as per your convenience to spot the places and to compare them. What is the difference between map and a globe? Maps are easy to carry whereas globes are not so easy. Maps are available on flat surfaces and you can spot out the places very easily and compare them. Whereas in globe you need to turn around to compare and find different places. And maps give you detailed information whereas globe doesn't have entire information. You need to refer few more documents or drawings to get the exact information. Now we will learn different type of maps. There are three different type of maps. They are physical, political and thematic. What are physical maps? Physical maps show the location and shape of the features on the surface of the earth. These includes mountains, water bodies, even the structures that are built by the humans like canals, dams, bridges, parks, etc. Then what are political maps? Political maps shows boundaries and locations of countries, states, union territories, capitals and cities. Then what do thematic maps represent? They represent the theme or subject such as the literacy rate, rainfall or population. In this example, you can see the literacy rate are given in different colors. Now, you may be wondering how to study a map. Not all maps are same. For that, you need to know about directions. We have four main directions. Those are north, south, east and west. Always, the top portion denotes north, the bottom denotes south, the right is denoted with east and left with west. Also, you find on one of the corners of the map, a scale. The distance is measured either in kilometers, feet, miles or inches. The color and symbol denotes the theme or subject of the map. And it's always a good practice to know how to read key or legend. Now let's refresh the topic. A map can give more information about places in detail than a globe. An atlas is a book of maps. There are three types of maps. Those are physical, political and thematic. Directions give the basic guidelines about where to go or where a particular place is located. The key and legends of a map explains what the color and symbols used on it represent. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to watch more videos. Also drop your comments in the comment section.